So next, we're going to talk about high-density alert in regards to how it responds to other metallic threats. And we're going to focus on knives, okay? So pocket knives or fixed blades or um, any type of edge weapon threat is typically going to be made from a metal. And because high-density alert has the ability to automatically detect high-density threats, let's take a look at how effective it's actually going to be against something like a pocket knife or a fixed blade knife. So I have a whole bunch of different knives that we've tested on this system. We have a bunch that have been here. We're gonna run those through on the settings that we just set for detecting firearms. It gives us the best detection for firearm detection. And we're gonna try that setting to see how effective it is against various types of knives that, that we could potentially encounter at our checkpoint. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the belt on. I got a whole set of knives inside this bin here. We'll run these through, and we'll take a look at how well on the settings we use for gun detection, this actually works for knife detection. So as we look at the screen, we're starting to see here that this kitchen knife, which is probably an eight, nine inch blade knife, it's pretty substantial, did not get an alarm. And the reason being, it's, its density is just not high enough to trigger this system to alarm. You can see where it's a light blue color here. We even got darker colors here, but it's just a, not enough to trigger the system. Now this one is a United States Marine Corps K-Bar fighting knife. So the back hilt portion of the blade has a lot of metal. This was actually able to trigger alarm. Again, this is a very large knife. The one below it is a boot knife, and you can see we got no alarm on this. Up here is a multi-tool, one of the folding multi-tools. Now typically the multi-tools will always get an alarm when you use this gun setting that we've just showed you. Um, but most of these pocket knives, if you start going all through here, all of these pocket knives, only one of them, and it's the most dense one, it's a very heavy metal constructed pocket knife, is the only one that actually alarmed. And we even threw in a set of brass knuckles for you to show you that they don't alarm, even though they're made of metal. So the question you're probably going to ask me now is why don't we adjust the settings again to try to get all of these to detect? Well, what happens is once you start lowering these, these detection settings to start getting something like knives, the, uh, the amount of false alarms that you're going to get is just going to be astronomical. So to optimize the ability to detect guns, which is a higher level threat, we've set the system on that setting to, to pick out the guns. So when it comes to knives, you cannot rely on high density alert to be able to detect a knife threat. You have to be able to pick it out in the x-ray image. So it's important that you always just don't rely on the alarm features to identify what you look at in an x-ray image. You have to look at everything in the bag. And if there's any portion of the bag that you can't determine what the item is, take that bag back out, orientate it into another position, and x-ray it again to get a different angle. If you still can't figure out what it is, you need to open the bag. It's very important that what you're doing is verifying that everything you see in that x-ray image is not a threat. And to do that, you have to be very diligent in what you're doing. So do not rely on high density alert when it comes to edge weapon threats. You have to find those by seeing them and locating them in the x-ray image yourself.